Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. Now, let's talk about this stimulus. And for most of us, again, we're thinking about we're only going to get $1,400 stimulus. But in reality, a lot of us are going to be end up with about $14,000 or more in stimulus. And so I want to break that down. Now, for those of you that have not received none of your stimulus, actually, I'm going to tell you how to get all of your stimulus when you file your taxes. So just stick with me and let's break this down. First of all, the 1400 right? So in the last bill, we all know that we got $600, okay? And so that let's just say it was a family of four okay so a family of four so that's twenty four hundred dollars that we receive right now with the new stimulus the fourteen hundred and we had a family of four all right so now we're looking at what we're looking at 36 right is that 36 excuse me that's 56 excuse me 5600 all right, you shouldn't talk and do math. That's what they say. But now here's what I really want you all to pay attention to. What's going to really make this uh, stimulus so important is the child tax credit increase. OK, so if you are a parent or you are parents married and say that you're making less than a one hundred and fifty thousand. OK, and you have two kids, 150,000 with two kids. All right. Let's think about this. If your kids is under the age of six, then they're going to get thirty six hundred. And if your kids are seven to 17, that's three thousand. OK, now stick with me so you can really understand. So that thirty six, they're going to give this to you monthly so you have that's 300 times two kids so that's 600 dollars right there okay and so say that you had uh both of your kids are teenagers like i have teenagers then that would be what about 250 or 275 times two okay so it'll probably bring it to about maybe five or 525 something like that okay so instead of you um, getting that child tax credit at the end of the year, what they decided to do is increase the child tax credit the monthly disbursement. Now, here's the kicker about it. Here's the great thing about it. When you file your taxes, you still get that child tax credit. So that's the nice thing about this situation. You don't lose the tax credit. They're giving it to you monthly. Plus, you'll still be able to file your taxes and leverage your kids as a tax write-off as well. So this is something that's pretty cool. Now, you're wondering, like, well, that doesn't total up to $14,000. Okay. Well, let's just say that you was a person that had student loans, right? And say that your student loans was an average payment was about $300. $300 times 12, right? That's 36 Okay, now let's just say that you had a mortgage. Okay, so you had a mortgage. All right, so student loans was uh, suspended federal student loans that's serviced by the federal government. Those student loans, okay, they were suspended since I think to September of 2021. Okay. So, and they're still talking about extending it out further, right? Now, on the mortgage, you have 18 months of forbearance, okay? You have 18 months of forbearance, all right? For numbers, that's the reason I say that for most people with this stimulus, and we haven't even started talking about the unemployment benefits, because most people on unemployment, their state probably gives them about 350 okay? Plus, with the stimulus program you're going to get an extra 400 okay so that brings your income weekly income to about 750 all right 
This is the reason why they say that most people are only focusing on this $1,400 stimulus when they're actually going to end up with more. Plus, if you're on welfare food stamps, they're going to increase that as well. Now, for those of you that may have uh, IRS issues, okay, you may owe taxes to the IRS, you still are entitled to your stimulus, right? And for most people, they may not have even received their first stimulus. So do you remember that $1,200 that they sent out? So then they sent out the 600, right? Then they plan on sending out the 1400, okay? Well, guess what? You can get all of this money when you file your taxes. Even if you owe the IRS, you can use this as a recovery rebate credit okay and so who's ever filing your taxes you need to make sure that they know this if you didn't receive uh, any stimulus money and you're filing taxes you need to make sure that your tax preparer are aware of this so that you can actually get your stimulus as well and so what that'll do, that will actually reduce your tax bill for a lot of people. Yeah, it may not come into your pocket, but at the same time, that means that you'll owe the IRS less money because you can use it to pay that, okay? Because it's a tax rebate, tax credit rebate. So this is the reason why, again, I'm telling you all, this $1,400, that's just icing on the cake, but the whole cake you got all of these other benefits that's going to help you, okay? And then plus, of course, when you file your taxes, you still have your tax credits and everything. So this is Houston with three-way funding. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notification of the next video. And thank you for your support. Thank you.